Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon, and this is SiliconANGLE's Cube Conversations. We're here with Jerry Melnick, who's the COO of SIOS, a company that may, many of you may not have heard of, but first of all, Jerry, welcome to the Cube. Thanks, Dave. So who is SIOS? Tell us. <laughs> SIOS actually has a long history, much longer than a lot of people understand, known earlier days as uh, uh, Steelite Technology. Uh, back in those days, we were primarily around high availability clustering, and we were, uh, you know, sort of the first guys who did Linux clustering and uh, acquired after a startup phase uh, by a company in Japan called Sios Technology Incorporated, who is a publicly held Tokyo-based uh, company, uh, and we're now a uh, U.S.-based subsidiary of Sios Technology. Based in Silicon Valley. That's right, San Mateo's our, our home office. And so w what is it that you guys are known for? What are you really good at? Well, again, you know, we're all about um, helping customers maintain availability, deliver SLAs on their most critical applications. You know, that's what we've always been about, high availability Linux, Windows systems, um, and that's where we started, that's where we, 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 we began. So in the past decade, you know, virtualization and cloud, first virtualization, then cloud, have exploded onto the scene. How did that change your business? Yeah, well, you know, good question. I mean, obviously, you know, people started off using these uh, on physical servers, well-defined, well-constrained environments. Uh, the, the lure and the cost efficiencies of cloud computing and of uh, virtualization really has attracted those customers as well. They've been the slowest to move, uh, but now they're really going. You know, we see it in our business today, and we've seen, you know, a lot of changes as a result. So how would you describe sort of the, the the culture of the company, the DNA, you know, the IP, you know, your systems guys. We're sort of right. talking about that, but so give us some color there. Right, I mean, we are, we are systems guys, I and mean, that's, that's what we've done. Uh, we really understand what it takes to maintain these critical database applications, Oracle applications, uh, SQL applications. Uh, we know how important it is to our customers. So as they move off of these environments, you know, we had clearly seen our mission was to help them uh, improve their environments as they move into virtualization environments. And that's one of the great things about our technology uh, today is that it moves around, our, our, our current uh, product line moves around in, in cloud and virtualization and across the two. So flexibility, ease of use is a major capability. Uh, but you know, what we saw, um, quite frankly, was an opportunity as these people were moving their, their systems into cloud environments, into, into virtualization environments, to help them in ways that you know, they didn't need before, and that is really to try to understand what's going on and how to really make them work in very complex environments. Well, and certainly you've seen it with virtualization where pretty much any app is now virtualized. Of course, you saw that with the mainframe, yeah. and now you're seeing it with VMware and others. The cloud is, seems to be a little slower. Can, can you help there? Yeah, we are helping there today, um, and we, we help that with our existing products and our new products that we're going to be talking about as well, um, it's all part of our mission, which really is to support these critical applications and manage their SLAs. So I've been in the business a while, and high availability has always been very difficult, challenging, complicated. First of all, why is it so hard, and can you help simplify it? Well, you know, the simplicity comes with uh, taking and putting uh, simple interfaces, simple interactions with the user, and then putting the complexity into the product that you need to deliver, uh, making a very complex problem easy. And so that's where, we're, where we have been, had great success in our high availability uh, range, and, and where we're going with our SIOS IQ product, uh, which provides analytics in this space, uh, we, we've taken the same approach as well, and that's really the glue behind us is, is, is providing that. Talk about your strategy as a company overall, give us the high level direction of the organization. Well, you know, at the very high, highest level, you know, we're there for the customers who need to maintain SLAs for those applications. And uh, we are providing either clustering products or analytics products to help them understand and control and, and improve the environment so that they can deliver uh, on time, you know, responsive applications that are available. And, and meet the needs of you know, the kinds of applications that must be on all the time. And, and how about scale? I mean, we talk about virtualization, and then cloud, of course, gives you a new right. level of scale. Um, a lot of customers are concerned about um, how they can replicate what's going on in the cloud in their on-premises environments. Are you seeing that? Are you being sort of dragged into that discussion? That's exactly what's happening. I mean, they're, they're taking what they've built on-premise, 
uh, on physical servers. They, they're you know, first moving it into virtual environments. They're late, you know, they're, again, they're, they're late to the party because they're very conservative in how they're going to do it. They want to make sure it's going to work when they go. And then from virtualization environments, they're going into cloud environments. Uh, so we really see, you know, we're not losing the physical environment, uh, but we are moving some of that out into virtual and cloud environments. And, and that's a big and important move because they want to take advantage of the flexibility of those environments. All right, Jerry, well, thanks for the update. And uh, we'll be watching SIOs, looking for new announcements. So we appreci really appreciate you coming on theCUBE. Thanks to you, Dave. All right, keep it right there, buddy. We'll see you next time. This is Dave Vellante from Wikibon headquarters. This is CUBE Conversations.